world is seeing something awesome, Mashiach. How can we help them realize what they are seeing? The Rebbe has given us the gift of Mifzoyim. Through this gift, Neshei Chabad brings the light of Mashiach to the world. Women like you, teenagers, students from our schools, toddlers, and even our husbands and sons, you will see us in the supermarkets, at the airports, on the subways, on the street corners, at the malls, on the boardwalks, in the senior centers, in private homes, and even in the prisons. We bring Torah inspiration, opportunities to do mitzvahs, make Yomim Toivim come alive, raise the spirits of the Jews as proud Yidden, and reach out to our Gentile neighbors with Sheva Mitzvahs. The Sheikh Chabad is doing so much, but it's not the same without you. If someone told you that you can change the world in a few hours, what would you do? I'm rushing a bit, it's my Fetzayim day. Love this day. Today we're doing some sort of challah chal- demo at this assisted living facility. Okay, I'm heading now. Inspiring a world, the Rebbe leads the way and shows us how. People say, oh, I'm so uncomfortable going on Mifsayim. So I think that really what Mifsayim does is that for a minute it takes your own being and you step out of yourself for a minute and you just become a complete uh, Kaylee for the Rebbe. A lot of people saying with my children that was a little bit outside of ourselves, that we were contributing more to the society. So we decided to go and to do Mifsayim. The moment I got involved in Mifsayim, it changed my life. I learned that there's a way to volunteer and to give and to contribute. When we left, we were much more filled with gratitude and joy, which we didn't come in with. And it made me realize that this contributing back to society was so meaningful. We ended up doing it every Sunday. It became our Sunday fun day. I find the more Mitzvah I might do, good things happen. Since I was a child, I love to be a leader and organize events. So of course I put my whole energy into the Rebbe Smithsoyim, organizing the Rebbe Smithsoyim. And I could see when the ladies come back from the shift, how they look enriched and happy and fulfilled. Mifzayim keeps reminding me that I have to give to others. This is a picture of my parents, Yaakov and Sarama from Paris, France. They gave me the first taste of the mitzvah of Mifzayim, the Kocholim. And till today I can continue it, thanks to Neshe Chabad in Mifzayim. And I always felt that day, the day of Mifzayim, the evening was much easier. The children were calmer, supper was ready, and everybody was in a good mood. When you have inspired somebody to such an extent, then you become doubly inspired. And you just feel so warm about it, because you just have touched a neshama. What's amazing for me personally about Mifzayim is that I can become a shliach at any moment. I say, hey, I think I'd like to open a Chabad house for five minutes. I don't have to have an official Chabad house. At that moment, on that street corner, on Main and 34th Street, wherever I am with a brochure in my hand, I become a shliach. I meet a woman, I speak to her, and I know that when we step out of this bubble and we go our separate ways, I will never be the same, she will never again be the same, the world will never again be the same. It's Tuesday, the car is soon coming, the ladies are going to Palm Beach. Okay, let me prepare for them the bag, the material. Arriving to Hannah right on time. It's gonna be a good day. Inspiring a world by bringing light into the darkness. When she higier le chino, um me konir gems to verstehen, wo si das ner shabbos, ho si shein de keach, und ho shein de schlichus, von dem ebersten, 
auf machen richtig bei sich in Huis und durch den von der Huis und durch die Lichtigkeit in der Huis öffnen auf die Ati, wo er mit auf sich hat richtig machen Hälfte bei ihnen. Here we are, another Friday afternoon, Erev Shabbos, through cold and weather. Come on in and join us. We are here no matter what. We're visiting with HES. We give out Shabbos Licht and the Lechayims and a little Shabbos party and they give Staka. And it's just a happy, warm way to enter into Shabbos. I've always wondered about God since the time that I was little. I decided I wanted to look for God full time. And I, I quit my job that I really liked. And I, I would meditate and I would walk through the woods and my father asked me, now that I quit my job, what was I going to do? And I said, I don't know, but it'll come. And the next day they were going to visit people that I uh, really wasn't so interested in visiting. And they said they would leave me at a, um, at a mall and then they would come pick me up. So they left me at King's Plaza and this woman ran up to me and she gave me a pamphlet. And on the pamphlet, and she gave me Shabbos candles, which I wasn't at all interested in. And I was very rude when she came up to me. And on the pamphlet were all my questions. And my heart was beating so loudly, I could hear it in my ears. And my parents came and I held it up to my father and I said, it came. And I went back to Indiana, packed a suitcase, and I, I went to Beis Hana. And I was thinking last night that um, it says that if a person saves the life of one person, they save a world. And I was thinking that Bracha Leia Hava Bashmul, she created about 33 worlds with my children and my grandchildren. And I'm very grateful that this world was opened up to me. Ask mothers when they have little girls in their room, do the little girls light their own candles, or even big girls? Don't let people intimidate you. You know why? How, where do you get your strength not to be intimidated? That you know why you're doing this. That you know why you're here in this world. You're here to light up another person. So how could you be intimidated? And if somebody says no, so what? Nothing happens to me when somebody rejects me. I don't become somebody because somebody accepts me, and I don't become a nobody because they reject me. I started making a Mokom Kavua, the supermarket on Shipsy Bay on Avenue Y, a stop and shop. And from already a good few years, I'm going together with my friend Etty Nemes. The most exciting time is before Yavim Toyevim. People are so receptive. For, uh, we, we give out calendars for Yontem, for Rosh Hashanah, and for the New Year. Naturally, there is always those who don't want to hear, and maybe are not so kind to us. And when it is difficult, I try to think myself that it's not me. I'm just the feet and the mouth for the Rebbe. Inspiring a world of goodness and kindness. Is er the din und the nitzvige vigeret merer mo as a yid daf ton kol hatoli be as all sein der kiel von die alle mitzvist was eine verbunden mit die schuvische leilom mit die beschäftigte zora wo sie werden alle nichtlal in die schivi in die sim sugim klolim von die als schiever mitzvist benei nea mit alle Seele Sifi und mit der Hat Gosche, hat das nicht gesagt, was sie da sein, früher nicht mehr und dann noch nasse. Früher wird er das verstehen mit seinem Sechel, der Bernäher. Und dann noch wird er nicht kein sein, denn Leis Signe, Leis Signe, Leis Signe, Leis Signe, Leis Signe, so kann man, als er darf das nicht kein sein. Punkt, dass wir jeden seinen Mekaim, die Ibrik in Mitzvah, die Tavjag Mitzvah, bei Agdom aus Neisser der Nishma, als er die Seche der Ben Neher darf Mekaim sein, das Fall, was er sehr oder er bestellt, Ibrik gegeben durch Menschen. Every time I leave the house, I grab a stack of Sheva Mitzvah cards to give to the non-Jews. Their enthusiasm 
never ceases to amaze me. It's as if they were waiting for me to give them the card. The Rambam says that before Mashiach comes, the Jews have a halacha to teach the Sheva mitzvahs to the non-Jews. The Rebbe activated the process and I'm proud to take the challenge. I had a Sheva mitzvahs in B'nai Leach, seven Noachic clothes on Korah Jem, and people are very, very happy. Inspiring a world of respect and care. They're also on our monthly calendar every Tuesday. Ladies visit from the Labavitch. The trick, roll it. Young ladies from Chabad who are coming to us, they bring so much joy. It's a pleasure to have them here. The ladies learn us to do tzedakah, to learn with the Jewish religion. For me, it's many things new I learned from them. Mitzrayim is always awesome. I love doing Mitzrayim. When you go to an old age home, it's a, it's a different style, it's a different type of, of Mitzrayim. I feel like there's something even more special about it. I feel like they need simcha and hope in a way that you know maybe other people don't. We are happy to have people who volunteer, uh, who volunteer here and who come here on a weekly basis. They provide holiday events, they bring um, students from the school, they like kids who come here very, very often. So of course they happy to participate in those events. Residents like this, you can see they are smiling. They come uh, to us every Wednesday. They talk about Jewish Torah, about holidays, about Jewish people. Very interesting program. One of the Mitzvahim that I was doing in the more recent past is going to some of the um, places of outreach, the assisted living places or the senior centres. You know, we make a little program. There was a, a certain gentleman and he was sitting at the back, like away from everybody else while we were giving the program. And when I went later in time, I saw that this gentleman had moved further in with the, with the crowd where the rest of the tables were. And I came later, weeks later, whatever, and I see now he was wearing a yarmulke. And I came again, like a certain amount of time later, and he was wearing two yarmulkes. And it just showed that from the programs of going in, how his, his neshama kind of melted. He was so resistant, he wouldn't even take a pamphlet. And now he's slowly drawn in through the programs and through the people going in and um, with Ivis Israel. I run extracurricular programming at Benos Menachem for the elementary students. And we like to take the girls on Mivitzayim every once in a while, but we often work with Neshei Chabad Mivitzayim who are so helpful in helping us set up appointments with different nursing homes so that the girls can visit and make performances for them, cheer them up, teach them about Yom Tif. Um, we get brochures and all kinds of materials for them for our older girls who can go on street Mivitzayim. 
Going on with time is very important for all kids, I think, even the very young ones. In the nursery of Beis Chayamushka, Mora Bela instills in her little ones a love to reach out to every Jew. Therefore, they are so excited to go on Mitzrayim. <laughs> Well, for what holiday? What is Hanukkah? And you uh, make enjoy for all people in Shalom Center. We all have good time. Yes, you have good time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot go, but you'd like to join the Tzayim. So you're offering money for car service. Such a good practice. Our car just broke down and we couldn't have another car now. So you came at the right time to offer this money for sponsoring a car service. Thank you so much. All the best, Mashiach now. What if my driving can change a world? What if my few phone calls can change a world? What if my babysitting can change a world? What if my few dollars can change a world? As jeder is soll wissen, als du sein dein und einzige Meister, und der sein dein und einzige Dieb, und der sein ein und einzige Machschobe, soll er wissen sein, als Rettach wegen Jikwes in dem Schiche, und in der Rufe Jikwes in dem Schiche, und in der Rufe dort der Psag dient. For maybe you should have told the baby. My mother, at the age of 80 plus, became like a young soldier for the Rebbe Smithsonian. She was a Holocaust survivor. In one of the letters that the Rebbe mentioned right. her about involvement in the Sheikh Abba activities, she replied that she has no hush, no talent for this. And then the Rebbe answered back with the following words Every year, man and woman can spread the sky, especially those. Who are raised amongst Hasidim. Their Messias Nefesh give them a special schus and blessing. We started to go to Great Neck, Sadduan the Gish Center for Iranian uh, Community. We, might, we decided that we want to give them some information about the Shabbos, the Chagim. So um, I decided to print uh, the information in the language of Farsi and bring them candles. But now I coordinate it with other people who are able to go. I call myself the transporter. <laughs> I transport people, distribute materials. Um, I pick up people from, um, you know, nursing homes or wherever. Sometimes if I don't join in with the Mitzvah myself, I pick them up, I bring them there, um, you know, according to my schedule. And also wherever I go, um, I'm always giving out, um, I call them my Rebbe cards to Yidin and uh, Gentiles. A lot. Always something. Shame, I got an idea. I thought like, oh, I can do with time, even though I'm busy mommy and you know, I need to do so many things to walk and take care of my children. And then I, 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 had, a, I had an idea, I can go to Hannah Marozov house and I can just help her to organize all the bags and stuff within my own time when I'm available and she's flexible. In addition, when it comes up to Purim time, or Pesach Sheni, or Tu Bishvat, we have to do the tiny bags, all the family, we sit together and we just put all the stuff in small bags and make it like nice and neat so the women that go to time can give it out and we are also part of the time. The soil is definitely for everybody. Um, my children, Kama and David, both have Down syndrome and they like to do the soil as well. In fact, David did Nusayim in the national parks a few summers ago and he he found a man who had never put on tefillin before and um, he had a bar mitzvah thanks to David. One of the mitzvahim that I was involved with for a long time was going to the prison but every now and then going in over time I found that I actually picked up and I gained. Right now I'm a teacher and how do I find time for Nusayim? I go usually Sunday or sometimes in the evening, or if I day, have a day off, then I go uh, during the day. Right now, the, my main focus is, since the Rebbe said that every single child, as soon as they're born, should have a Shramalas in their crib. So I go to the hospital, I go to maternity ward. For me, my specialty 
is Mitzrayim on the go. That when I step out the door of my home, am I equipped for a divine encounter? So it means that on me, I have to have something that I'm going to give out to somebody. Uh, when I first got married, I was very excited when I was given the opportunity to call somebody once a week and learn with them whatever they wanted to learn. And we became friends and we would talk with in our learning and it was a great way to connect and keep my own learning up. I love this kind of a story because I can tailor it to my own time. Whether it's going to driving people to their the hospitals or nursing homes, wherever they need to go, or whether it's actually going into the into the old age home and doing a program with the seniors, or whatever you're teaching them, whether it's about Alf Bays, or about Yantif, or Shabbos, and when you see the smile that you're bringing to their faces, and you see them listening so intently and to, to every single word that you're saying and really connecting with you, it's a very powerful and special experience. So I buy kind bars by the case, and on the back of it, I attach the surf card or the good card, and I put a ribbon around it. The surf card has websites, Jewish websites, and the good card talks about doing a, a good deed, and I believe bringing light into the world. And it's, they're both very appealing to look at, and, and people are really grateful to get it. I am a music teacher, entertainer. I try to infuse that and to use my talent to be able to bring simcha to other people. You know, you just benefit. It's a win-win situation. I like to go to either the nursing home or the senior centers, and I like to speak to them, to the people, and I like to play music, mainly with my recorder. And uh, this way, I, I have a feeling that they get more of the information absorbed um, intellectually and emotionally. I think it all started with a cream cheese ragala for Shavuos about eight years ago when I came to drop off ragala for the people for Yetiv with, with Shabbos candles. And now, eight years later, it can be cold and freezing out here. But as you notice, it's warm and happy inside. We're like family. <laughs> Go for it, Mama Liz. It's the best. It's the best because the giver really is the receiver. All good things, good Shabbos, and happy Mubsayim to all of you. Each week, the Sheikh Chabad distributes 200 packages of Shabbos candles, over 500 Torah pamphlets in Russian and English. Prior to each Yom Tov, thousands of holiday guides are distributed. 1,000 honey stick for Rosh Hashanah, 500 pieces of Lekach for Yom Kippur, 30 sets of Lulavim and Esrogim on Sukkot, 300 menorahs and 500 dreidelach on Hanukkah, 300 packages of fruit for Tubashvat, 500 shalachmanis on Purim, over 2,000 matzahs for Pesach, and 600 cheese ragalach on Shavuos, and much, much more. Just got back. Yes. You're willing on giving it a try? Really? Oh, that's great. I'm so, so happy. Back to Tuesday morning. You ready at a quarter to 10? Wonderful. Together, we can inspire a world.